Hello, Mr. Whitney here. This is a special drawing because this one is not going to be uh, shared or put into a lesson. I'm hoping this lines up here. I'm going to move it close to the camera so hopefully you can see it. This is a drawing I did, a friend posted on Facebook of Snoopy. And the original drawing I do have, um, oh, I do have, which I will figure out a way to share that picture as well here with you. But uh, my student asked if I would share how to draw Snoopy, and Snoopy is very simple. I'm going to just draw Snoopy out for you. Um, it's this ovalness for a head. It's kind of this weird little oval for a head. I'm not going to, pencil's not going to cooperate. There we go. For a weird ovalness for a head. And then we've got the snout that comes out like this, which is almost just as big for Snoopy's head. I get in a habit of being able to draw him in one stroke. So we get that ovalness for the head. And then when Snoopy's got his eyes open, it's either a round eye or it can be a more ovalized eye like such. Then we get the black nose on there. And when mouth is closed, doesn't have a mouth, but then he's got his ears. And I like to get his ears in here. And I usually go through and I'll color them in and darken them in so they stand out. And as you can see, I'm just scribbling and looking up here at the screen as I do it, just to color that in. So getting it, and I sometimes like to take the shape and do it. So there's one way of doing it. The Snoopy, like in the drawing here that I had done, there was this drawing and then I will show you, I redid him again. The next day, this was the one I'd done and I felt like I goofed up on, which still I feel like turned out pretty good. So with the drawing of Snoopy, I'm just gonna lower my paper right down here on the wreath is I get the wreath. I'm figuring out where the wreath is gonna be. So I scribbled out here and I say scribble cause I just go through and it doesn't have to be perfect. You do want the wreath to be kind of round so I go through and I get that roundness to it. I'm adding extra volume. Then comes the trick of Snoopy. Snoopy I take and I do on one fine stroke. I draw his head down and then I draw like such. Another funny thing with Snoopy I noticed as a kid. Let's let that focus in. His body is almost as big as his head. So then I get the big round in here for his belly. And I used to when I was a kid, I'd close it off right down here. And then I draw his feet in like such. As I've gotten to be better at it, I do it in one for one stroke, which is totally fine either way. Then his hand, sometimes I start with his fingers and then I'll scoop back the arm like this. And I like to get that depth in there. Then I'll take his ear. I like to put the ear off. I like the ear to sag down below. The original drawing of him does not have his ear at all on the picture. I think it adds more personality to it. Um, I've been drawing my nose up here. The picture itself, I was just look, glanced over it, has his nose more up this way. And then he's got the straight line for eyes closed. I usually will curve them. Again, there's no right or wrong way of doing it, but getting Snoopy in there and just taking it. I have been drawing Snoopy since I was your age. So he pretty much comes pretty easy to me. I take and I immediately like, oh, I'm going to color this in right here and can do this with pencil. And I was so good at doing this. I would do it in class all the time. And those my students who have, or those students who have missed uh, Little John, Miss Little John used to watch me take. And when we were in school together, I'd hide my drawing. We were supposed to be doing something else. So she'd see me do that. So then I rounded off there like such. Uh, taking again and in my sketchbook you do want to get in the habit of just sketchbook as you're going through and i'm drawing for fun i'm showing you i can take and make snoopy with less of a forehead and more of a snout more making more like a dog in there uh taking the head laying down i could really thin out his neck i can curve those eyes and i like to put the nose on top here that's my taking ownership if you get an actual drawing of snoopy and you look at snoopy you'll be like oh his is different than Mr. Whitney's is, and that's perfectly fine. I encourage you take ownership of a drawing. I would be obsessed with trying to make mine look exactly like Charles Schultz did his drawings, and they'd be frustrated with it. To, time to learn that, no, I draw differently than Charles Schultz. Schultz. So my snout goes through again. I can draw and get this big old head in there. I can curve, and if we get him a little more curved, with Woodstock, Snoopy's friend, get that little spike on him. So I go through and I got that little snap that for Woodstock and I can go through and put that little mouth on it. 
If you notice, Woods, even Woodstock looks similar to Snoopy. I've not drawn, drawn Woodstock since I was probably 10 years old, so I'm pretty impressed with how he turned out. Uh, thanks for the suggestion. This was from uh, Natalie in my class, asked me if I would show how to draw Snoopy, and uh, please send me your request. I like taking them. I will draw them out and do little videos uh, separately with it. So again, Natalie, thanks for your suggestion, and here's Snoopy for you. Enjoy, happy drawing, and please share your drawings with your teacher, share your drawings with me. I enjoy seeing what you come up with. Have fun.